Hello, folks. This month, we are going to talk about some of the components or the hardware that make up the systems we use. We should first define a couple of terms, software and hardware. Software are the applications or the programs that we use to perform a particular function. For example, a web browser is, is a piece of software. Email applications, word processing, spreadsheet applications, or database applications, those are pieces of software. There's many other examples uh, of software. To be honest with you, for over 40 years I've written software and I've always struggled to provide elusive description of what software is. Now the second definition is hardware, and hardware is a little easier. Hardware are the physical parts of the computer. Examples of hardware are a laptop, desktop computer, tablets, or smartphones. So we know what a laptop is. That's something that looks like this. There are several components that make up your laptop, desktop, tablet, or smartphone. The motherboard, or the main board, or system board, is the main printed circuit board in the computer. And I'm going to show, you, show this to you right here. And here I just did a search for motherboard. And this is the motherboard. And if we were to look at the uh, inside of, of this computer, we would find in here this main printed circuit board, which is the motherboard. And on this motherboard, all the other components will plug into the motherboard. Okay, now two key components on the motherboard are the CPU, known as the central processing unit, and RAM, random access memory. Now, the CPU can be thought of as the brains of the computer. And on this picture here, this is where the CPU would plug into. So if you were to have an Intel CPU or an AMD CPU, this is where it would plug into. Now the RAM, which is the memory, that plugs into these slots here. And you see here, these are indicated by DIMM memory slots. Now DIMM stands for dual inline memory module memory slots. And a piece of memory that would plug into that is this. This is a, a piece of DIMM. And on here, it's divided up into 256 megabyte chunks, but this would be a two gigabyte uh, dim, dim board that would plug into that slot, okay? Now, the motherboard contains connections for all of the components, and it also provides the points of interface for external devices. For instance, if we were to uh, uh, plug an external device, such as a memory stick, it, this would actually be plugged plugged into the, um, into, the, into the motherboard. Or if we were to plug in headphones, this is pl being plugged in to the uh, motherboard as well. Now, these devices here are hardware. The, these are other examples of hardware. Okay, these are at the component level. Now, another piece of hardware that, that's in all of our computers is a disk drive. And the disk drive is what stores our information for, uh, permanent, uh, for permanent use. Now, the way the disk works is this disk spins around, okay? And this particular disk would spin between 3,600 and 5,400 revolutions per minute. And this little arm goes back and forth, chugga, 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 okay? As this is spinning around, to read and write information on our disk. So for instance, if we were to read a Microsoft uh, document off this disk, we would access the document. This would chugga, 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 read, read the information and allow us to um, uh, work with it. If we were to create a new version of a file, we would write it and it would go on the disk this way as this is spinning around. So this is a component, okay? This is a component, a disk. And this would effectively plug into the motherboard. 
Another component that would plug into the motherboard, this would be a wireless card. This plugs into the motherboard. This is the point that this plugs in at. And this has a little place for an antenna right here. And that's a... Uh... Now, another piece of hardware is a router. This is an old router I have. This is also considered hardware. You notice the characteristic of hardware. We can touch it, hold it, drop it, do all sorts of things with it. Okay. Now, one thing I w I'd like to point out for you on the motherboard is uh, the components that are labeled heat sinks. And you'll see these up here. You see heat sink, heat sink, a few others, heat sink. And the, um, uh, what a heat sink is, is heat or overheating is the enemy of computers. The faster computers run, the more heat they generate. A major issue for computer hardware is to dissipate that heat. Heat sinks serve the purpose of removing some of the heat. Often, the removal of heat needs to be supplemented by using what are called chill fans, which are little platforms that you would pl place your computer onto that have fans in it that would help with the cooling. Okay. Also, keeping your system free of dust and fur balls from that pet cat will greatly help your system run cooler. Okay, some more hardware components which I have here that, that we went over were disk drives, US, uh, USB memory sticks, which are right here, as we said. Uh, we have monitors would be a piece of, uh, of uh, hardware. So the monitor, of course, on a, on a laptop, we all know what the monitor is. That's considered a piece of hardware. Other hardware components that make up part of your computing infrastructure are routers, modems, Verizon or Comcast components that are in your house, various wires, telephone poles, those are all considered hardware components. Now, keep in mind that the smaller the device, the smaller the components are. Every system requires similar components, and a key difference is the size of the components. So my smartphone here, it has a disk, although it is not a rotating disk, it's a solid state disk, also has a CPU. So it has to have all the components. Its motherboard is a lot smaller than the mother motherboard in this um, system here. So in lay terms, we can define hardware as something we can hold and touch. Software is the applications or programs we use to get our tasks done. We cannot hold or touch software. Software is made up of various instructions that the computer interprets and executes to accomplish a task. So here's a question to ponder. What would a copy of Microsoft Office on a DVD be? So here's a DVD. Would it be hardware or software? Well, the answer is the physical media, which is the DVD, that's hardware. But what is on the DVD is software. I advise you to use the internet and your browsers to investigate and research topics and questions you have on various items. Similar to how I looked up a picture of a motherboard, you could do the same for some of these components. Try performing a search for USB memory stick or computer mouse. When the search is complete, select images at the top of the web searches and see what you get.